Hi, I'm Judy Shaw on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange along with Matt Kobach for another segment of NYSE Icebreakers. Joining us today is Scott Svensson. Scott is the co-founder and CEO of Mod Pizza. Welcome, Scott. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. We are glad you're here, too. And before we get into it, our viewers know that we start every interview with an icebreaker. Icebreaker. So grab question. one. Pick a card. Read, read it the, out loud. Read the question. <laughs> what was the worst purchase you ever made? Worst oh purchase. Worst purchase. <laughs> Other than a bad pizza. Uh, the worst purchase. Um, that is a great Do you question. ever come home with something and your wife was just like, take that back immediately? Never? Yeah, you know, that's... <laughs> okay, how about the best purchase? The best purchase ever? You know, I'll tell you, so thank you for segueing. Um, <laughs> My uh, wife and I have started this tradition of taking our family on these fabulous adventure travel trips. Yeah. And uh, we've been to Africa three times in the last six years. Oh, wow. Yeah. But the first time we went, um, we took all four of our boys. We had just a, a, a life-changing experience, which is what led us to go back two more times in the next yeah. five years. And it's an investment, so it is definitely a purchase. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But mm -hmm. I would highly recommend it. We, we kind of started trading things for experiences and uh, raising four boys it was four it was boys certainly one of the best if not the best purchase <laughs> ever. So thank great. you for the, the twist hey i mean if you can't think of anything bad might as well think of something good that's right? exactly right yeah be optimistic <laughs> okay so let's get started let's talk yeah. about your business for those of us who, or those who are out there who are not familiar with mod pizza yeah. tell us about the business and how you're different from other restaurant pizzas yeah so Mod Pizza, we were the pioneers of the fast casual pizza industry. We started in Seattle just over 10 years ago. Our first store actually opened November of 2008, which was about 10 weeks after Lehman Brothers failed. So oh. <laughs> it was an ominous time to be starting a restaurant chain. Um, we grew pretty slowly for the first five years. We had 12 stores in Seattle on our fifth birthday. Um, but by our 10th birthday, we had 400 stores spread across 71 markets. So wow. the last five years have been um, crazy rapid growth and as a matter of fact growth. for the last four years Technomic has rated us as the fastest growing restaurant chain in the country oh wow um, so then you might ask why have we grown so quickly and what sets us apart um, well, yeah, you beat us to it yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we were gonna let's ask hear it. That. Let's hear it. so other than pioneering this new space which people love this idea of coming into a restaurant and walking down a line and having a pizza made for you with any combination of 30 plus toppings for one fixed price um, it's an 11-inch thin-crust artisan-style pizza. Um, it's super high quality. It's made super fast, uh, all for one fixed price. So for an 11-inch pizza, depending upon where you are in the country, it's about $8. Wow. So you um, don't pay extra for toppings? You don't pay extra for toppings, and we do the same for salads. So same price, same value proposition. So customers love the product and the value. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but what really sets us apart, I think, is the way that you feel when you come to Mod, the experience we deliver, which is empowered and delivered by our squad, our team. And um, we have made it a point from the very beginning of launching Mod that we wanted to use the business as a platform to make a positive social impact. And we focus on our people. And as a result of that, it's we've gotten to the point where our team loves Mod because, frankly, we love them. And therefore, they deliver an experience to our customers that brings them back. D and does that have something to do with what's in this box right here? It's, guys, it's not pizza, but I've got, we've got a <laughs> yes, we've got yes. a handbook in here. That's awesome. Yeah, tell us about yeah. what this is. So this is what we call our book of mod, and um, it's a really special thing for us. It's small, but it is big in so many ways. We have written down for somebody who's joining mod for the first time. Mm -hmm. We've written down all we can about who we are, where we've come from, where we're trying to go, what we believe, and how we behave, so that if you're a new squad member, you have a sense for what success looks like. Mm -hmm. And um, this is a really important thing for us because it tries to capture in one place some of those key elements of our culture. And uh, we're a very culture-driven business, so this is... Yes. And do you think something like this really helps for that experience that you were mentioning when a customer does go in to a Mod Pizza? Yeah, so I think if you're joining Mod, it's important to understand what's important to us. Mm -hmm. um, and 
one of the things that's important also to understand is that we have leaned into what we call impact hiring. Right. I was just going to ask you about that too. Yeah. Impact hiring. Now, I know it's important to your culture, yep. your company. Why is it so important to you? So, impact hiring is really defined as giving an opportunity to somebody who would otherwise face barriers to employment. We decided, my wife Allie, who's the co-founder and I, decided early on that we wanted to use the business as a force for good, as a platform to make a positive impact. And we really wanted to lean into our people. And as we started to build the company, we hired some people who had come from different backgrounds. They'd either transitioned out of incarceration or homelessness or rehab or one of you know multiple backgrounds. And we gave them opportunity. Our philosophy is your past may well describe you, it doesn't need to define you. And what's matters what matters most is what you do next. And um, those individuals that we brought in in those early days repaid us a thousandfold with their passion, their dedication, their hard work, and really role modeling what it means to be loved. And we, once we saw it was working, we decided to really lean into it. Mm -hmm. And it has become fundamental to who we are and to our culture, which is about acceptance, it's about providing people with opportunities, and we talk about um, being a bridge for people from where they've been in life to where they want to be. And um, it's the thing that is most gratifying for my wife and I and the team at Lot about this whole journey. Wow. Sounds yeah. amazing. I so it. we are at the New York Stock Exchange. Yeah. So we have to talk a little bit about money. Yeah. You guys got some new funding. That's some great news tell us today. about yeah. Tell us about the funding and what you guys plan to do with that money. Yeah. So incredibly grateful uh, that we were able to attract the support of another world class investor, a group called Clayton Dubler and Rice, uh, who was joined by Fidelity, who's been an investor of ours for several years, who joined a group called PWP Growth Equity. So we have this this all-star group of investors who've basically bought into this model that we've talked about. Mm -hmm. um, in addition to some fabulous high net worth investors who've been with us for 11 years. Um, and they, uh, this recent uh, round of funding is $160 million, which is going to enable us to continue on this journey of growing. We've added about 100 stores a year for the past three years. And um, when you're doing that, it requires a lot of capital. Yeah. And so this capital will allow us to continue that uh, at that rate of growth while investing in um, our infrastructure, our technology infrastructure, our digital infrastructure, and also continuing to add more value to our team members. Um, the restaurant industry is going through so much change right now right. that if you're not investing to stay ahead in right. your technology, technology. Mm -hmm. you will inevitably, inevitably fall behind. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so I have a question about yeah. modness. Yes. There's this concept you have of modness. What exactly is that? <laughs> yeah, so um, we, have a f we have a phrase. If you walk into one of our stores, somewhere on a wall, you'll probably see painted the phrase, we make pizza to serve people. We call it spreading, mod uh, spreading modness, welcome to mod. And we define modness as the ripple effect of simply doing the right thing. And so it's really a state of mind, it's a culture, it's an attitude around um, showing up and trying to be a force for good and uh, trying to leave things better than you found them. Um, that's been a core part of, of the business and it's something that the whole team has embraced. Love it. Wow. One last question it. before we go. Of course. What do you put on your pizza? <laughs> so I'm pretty promiscuous when it comes to my pizzas. Yeah. And I, have to, I have to admit, we have 10 classic pizzas. Uh -huh. Four of them are named after our four boys. Oh, of course. Oh, of course. Okay. So Wait, so which are, one of those are your favorites? Those are my four favorites. <laughs> four okay. favorites. Okay. Well, we'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for coming. Congrats Thank on the you. funding. Thank you guys both very much. Thank you. Thank you.